Oh God, faffing about. Come on, Steve, sort yourself out. Right. fascinating place. There's absolutely nobody here, which isn't surprising because it's in the middle of nowhere. So I've got it all to myself, which is unusual these days. There's so much I could shoot here. There's so many different compositions. I'm going to have to slow down a little bit. I've said it in the past. I do tend to rush around and shoot the first thing I see. So I'm going to have a little bit of a wander, a bit of a recce, and then I'll decide what I'm going to point the pinhole at. Okay, another archway shot. Um, <laughs> seems to work for me at the moment. A little bit closer this time. I'm hoping just to get the top of the arch and the far wall in there, get that sort of gable end in there, a little bit of light round it, get the vignetting working in black and white. Should be spot on. Now one thing about pinhole is it uh, pays to be bold. So you need to stick the camera into all sorts of strange angles and get something really close up like all this foreground interest here and try and get an interesting background. Obviously I've got a fantastic background but I've also got that tree. Hopefully that will be in my shot. But yeah, you really need to get in there with the pinhole because it is a super wide angle lens and uh, you know how difficult it is to fill the frame with wide angles. Well, it's even worse with a pinhole. Well, I think I'm going to call it quits for the day. I've shot two rolls of Foma Pound 100, bit hit and miss, you never know. I'm going to get them back and uh, get them developed. I, think I might process them in uh, maybe the Rodinol maybe, make them a bit more gritty, a bit more atmospheric, and then get them into this vlog. I might have a look at the uh, local lake actually while I'm here and see if there's any opportunities there. Again, it's quite a remote location, so I need to make the most of my time here. But thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.